Hey everybody, welcome to the Red Beard Grind. I'm Red Beard. Uh, I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and I'm gonna review what I sold yesterday um, on January 24th. So I did. I, I sold 17 items yesterday uh, for total sales of 646 bucks. Just that's an average day for me. It's it's not great and it's not bad. It's just a completely average day. So, um, but those are pretty nice numbers. So I like them. They make me happy. Uh, so let's just jump right in and go over this stuff. The first several brands are great brands um, and great sales. Uh, so this is Roback. This is the second time I've sold this exact same shirt. It's got the little Texas print all over it. Um, I would buy this brand just based off of the the comping I've done on it here recently. I just buy this brand pretty much no matter what. Um, I'm not real familiar with it. I've just sold maybe four or five of the Roback shirts here in the last few weeks. And I just never came across this one for whatever reason. But now that I know about it, I'm finding it, it seems like once a week. I just needed to get this logo in my head. Um, so I've been passing this up for a while. Um, but they're, I mean, they're going for a lot of money. This went for 64 bucks, but I think it's because of the Texas logo. It's really cool. It's all over it. So, um, they're not all going to go for that much, I don't think, but uh, this one was a mint condition also. So let's get into cell number two. This was also a rowback. Um, just, I think it's, I, I found it the same week, not the same day that I found the other one, uh, but they're going fast. So I listed this January 17th and it, it's already gone. I took a, I took an offer on this one. It had a flaw. So let's see what the flaw is. Okay. So this is just kind of faded here and peeling. That edge is not sharp. You'd want that edge to be like this edge, like sharp. And it's, not, it's pretty rugged over there too. But so that's just showing some wear. That's why I've put that, um, see the last pick for the flaw. But there's their logo. It's a little dog. Uh, maybe it's a lab. Rowback. Um, really great brand. Keep your eye out for it. They'll put these in the golf or the polo, you know, shirt area of the thrift. Um, sometimes they have performance and then polo shirts, but often it's just mixed and cluttered up because they're not always sure what's what. I guess golf is, is performance anyways. All right, Public Rec. Um, this is a great brand. Also, I don't come across this one that often. I actually don't even come across this one even once a month. That's how rare it is, but I do like this brand. I sold it in the past. Um, here's a little logo on the pocket. It's just a P, pretty simple. Um, they're kind of like a Lululemon um, in the fact that they don't, their logo is not blaringly obvious. It's not all over the, all over the place and a different color. There's public rec right there on the rivet. This is their tag, just a plain, simple public rec. And then let's see the back of the tag, but and they had a little bit of flaw. So even with this little flaw here, it sold for thirty six eighty seven. They're listed at January twenty first. It, it went pretty fast. Um, there's even a little bit of rub right there from the zipper behind it. I should have pointed that out in the pick. Um, and then some just somewhere on the button. But this is a great brand. It sells fast and it sells for a good amount of money. I picked these up for probably. Seven ninety nine. I think I got got them at the Goodwill across the street. I have a, I'm lucky. I have a Goodwill literally two minutes from me. Um, okay, so Sims Sims is a great brand. You guys, if you've watched any of my videos, know it. I'll pick up Sims no matter what it is, um, as long as it's in good condition. Even if it's in bad condition, but it's a higher end item, I'll still get it. I, I do that sometimes. Like I, I listed some silver tabs yesterday that. Are to totally destroyed. They're holding a butt and there's stains all over them. I list them for forty dollars. I don't. I don't, won't get forty, but I, I know they'll they'll move probably for maybe twenty or something. But um, just once you get used to a listing and what moves, you can do stuff like that. I got them for super cheap. Um, so so back to the Sims. This is a uh, fleece pullover. That's their logo right there. They usually have this somewhere on the front. And let me show you the logo inside. Sims logo right there. And then the fish, they'll have their fish logo um, usually somewhere on the front of the, this is the back of the collar. But this is a nice piece. This is a great brand. Um, this is maybe, maybe I find this weekly, every other week. It's not, a, it's not a daily find for me. Banana Republic. This is a brand that I really never look at. 
Um, but here lately, I've found about five or six items that I've purchased because they, they don't sell for a lot of money, but they have a pretty good sell through rate. So I just bought them and listed them and want to see how it does. But I picked this up because of the wool and the ribbed knit um, on the sleeves here. Um, I comped it before I bought it. And so it's the, the, whole, the whole back is ribbed. But um, I don't normally comp or even look at the spring, but because it was wintertime and it was 100% wool, um, I did comp it. It had a good sell-through rate. I listed it December 29th and it's gone. I got my money back and then some. I probably bought that for maybe $6.99. Patagonia is a brand I love to find. I will pretty much buy this no matter what, um, except for not, I won't always buy the t-shirts and everything um, for this brand, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I just buy t-shirts and like you buy them for $1.99 or $3.99, then you flip them for like eight or nine bucks, sometimes 12 plus your shipping. Um, so this had a flaw. Let's see what the flaw was. Just uh, just showing you guys the flaw. So you don't, you don't have to buy perfect items. Like I do try to buy perfect items, but you can still sell stuff with flaws. People will want the performance gear like Patagonia, Sims. Those are really performance brands. And even if they're, they have holes or the flaw, if they still perform their job, like keeping you warm, keeping you dry, um, or they're diverse, you can take layers off. Um, uh, the breathability, stretch, uh, rash guards, all that stuff, if it will still perform, perform its duty, there's still value there. And some of these brands, um, there's a lot of value there. You just have to get to know that or experience with doing this. Um, but this is the Patagonia logo. They will typically have their logo on the outside of their their items uh, too, but maybe this one doesn't. Like it's, I think I see a little Patagonia there, but often it's their little mountain scene also with some color. This one just doesn't have any color in it. Sometimes it's got like blues and greens and reds in it. But yeah, the performance stuff, don't get too upset if you're, you're thrifting and you can't find a perfect item. Um, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and get something with a small flaw, just communicate with your customer and then stuff will still sell. That's why I show you guys the flaws, like just so you know, um, like most of the stuff, like you're maybe not most, but a lot of it I get has a stain or a flaw. And a lot of it I don't see until I bring it here. I, I intentionally try to buy some stuff with no flaws, but by the time you get it here and get it under the lights, um, you're going to see problems with a lot of the stuff. So Cowgirl Just Tough Dark Jeans. I've sold this brand a couple of times. Um, I'm not real familiar with it. This is the logo, uh, Just Tough Jeans. Here's their tag. Uh, I did find another one of these today, this morning. So I went ahead and bought it because I remembered I just sold this. I didn't, so I didn't comp it. I was like, ah, oh, this, this brand sells. It was pretty much similar to this, I think. It might be it might be bareback though. I don't I don't know. Um, but I bought another pair. I listed these January 13th. They went fast for full asking price, 32, 32 bucks. The Western stuff, uh, rodeo stuff sells uh, pretty fast and pretty well right now. It seems like especially the boot cut stuff is selling way better than skinny leg stuff right now. For from from my experience, anyways. I don't really keep up with trends. Um, intentionally it happens because I'm so, I have so many people that I follow and groups that I, I watch. I just learn the trends naturally. And since I'm in groups that are, this is their livelihood. I, I, I learn about trends as they start to happen. And then I can capitalize on it and be a part of the peak, peak into the trend and then the tail end of the trend too. So th that's the benefit of being in groups. Um, I'm in tech and sports group and they, they just dish out tons of information about what's going on and what direction the business is going in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, to me, it's worth it. Um, so vintage Levi's 550, 550s, um, 32 bucks. That's good. What did I list this? December 21st. So I'm happy with that. These I probably paid $7.99 for these. These look really good. They're in really good shape. They look like they're in mint condition. Um, let's see, let me show you the tag. So this is the vintage tag. This tag is like, a it's very stiff. It's like like almost not cardboard, but it's it's a stiff tag. It's not like paper, like flimsy paper. And typically, when you see this, you know you're either dealing with vintage or a fake. 
and Levi's do get fake sometimes. You can flip it over. I believe this is the date here, October 2000. Um, uh, there are plenty of websites and people that can that explain all the, the information on these tags. I see a lot of people put the, they'll put WPL 423. I don't know what the meaning of that is. Um, they'll put it in their title. So maybe that's a good keyword to know, but I haven't used it yet. That's just a picture of the back of the button, the 493 to correlate to this 493 so that people will know, like, at least that's another clue that this is real. It's not fake. I don't think Levi's get fake that often. I've seen a lot of fakes, especially at the flea. And uh, the fakes look so bad that it, it's easy. It, it doesn't fool me. I mean, I don't know who it would fool, but um, they're so bad that it doesn't even look like Levi's to me. Uh, so I got 39 bucks for those. I'm going to speed up. I feel like I'm talking too much today. If I'm talking too much, put a put a comment down down below. <laughs> Let me know uh, that I'm getting sidetracked too easily. Okay, Lululemon. This is a brand that I is a great bread and butter. I don't find it every day, but almost every day. I did find some today. Um, it's almost a daily find for me. At least at least four or five days out of the week, I will find it, and I will typically pick it up. I picked up a couple of them today. I know at least two. Um, and I almost always find these by fill. Like I'm just going through and filling and looking. Um, you can tell by by looking at it a little bit. The um, God, this is a wrinkle. I should have I should have de-wrinkled these. Um, but you can tell by looking at the fabric when you're cl up close. I don't really tell from the picture that it's a little bit different, a little bit higher quality than your normal typical stuff. But Lululemon has a very specific kind of a heavy, cool feel, um, at a flowy feel. That's a, the best way I know how to describe it. So again, find this dot. It's going to be in all the pants, all the shorts, not really the sh the shirts, but like jackets and the hoodies and stuff that will be in there. Anything with pockets, basically. You'll find this dot. This dot gives you all the information you need. I, I have this in one of my videos of how to find the information. If you want to know more about how to find out what it is, let me know. And I'll just maybe I'll just do a, a video of it. It'll be just a short two minute video, so you guys can access it when you need to. Um, there's their logo. It's usually hidden somewhere on the pants. I don't even know where that is. Maybe it's up. It could be on the leg or it could be um, up by the pocket somewhere. But this is their little, um, I can't remember what you call that, little strip they put. They put this is for bikers. They roll their leg up and it's reflective. Um, so when you're biking, you can be seen. Oh, this one actually has the tag. Most of them, this is the Lululemon tag. Um, they almost all look like this. They're pretty long. And straight like this, uh, but they're designed to fall off. So more, no, most of the time, you you won't be able to identify Lululemon with this tag. But that's what it looks like. And often it's black, and the the text will be white. And there's their little that's on the back that's inside the waistband behind the button. So if you think you see you have a Lululemon but you can't find the logo, you can look inside at, at the rivets. Um, if you can't find the dot, you can find this usually on it somewhere. And let me see if I can show you where that is. I don't know if it's up near the pockets. It'll be hard to see from here. And sometimes it's sometimes it's on the leg, like down here in this area. And with these, though, I don't know where it's at. My pictures aren't high depth enough to like really zoom in and show you. But it it's not always easy to see because it's the same color as the pants. And uh, I just I mean I know now when I when I feel I know I know exactly what it is. Um, it doesn't take me long to to know, like, oh, there's Lululemon. I don't know where that logo is. But I, anyways, I'm, I'm going to get moving on. I think that's good information for that. All right, cool. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I, I, I found like four or five pairs of these in one day. And this is the second or third pair that sold. I got them for $4.99. And they're selling for $27 plus my shipping in the middle of winter time. I love this brand. Um, this is their logo the cool logo and I will pick this this brand up pretty much I think anything even even t-shirts and um, it's gonna sell so that's their little tag inside I think this had this had like a little spot I couldn't get it off so I just wanted the customer to know um, that it had a spot on it before they bought it um, this was I, I identified this by the style put 5121 uh, cool 5121 in eBay machine and got that it was the Renegade short. If I was not able to figure out that it was the Renegade short, they would still be sitting and probably not sold by now. They would still sell, but they probably would be sitting longer. 
Push line, I've gone over this a couple of times in my videos. This is a great uh, brand for uh, for hunters and outdoorsmen. Uh, let me show you the logo. Bushlin right there. I, I don't know if they still make this. I've never found stuff that wasn't vintage. It's always vintage. So I, I don't know. I don't know if they're around anymore. Um, made in the USA, large cotton, all all plus signs, all go signs to to buy me or at least comp me. Um, but that's what it looks like, like the camo. I mean, all the shirts have this cool camo. And then there's Bushlin right there, Bushlin on the tag. Um, and they're selling for the 25 to $35 range. I think I've gotten more on some of them. And I've been finding those once or twice a week. L.L. Bean, you can find this every day if you're in a city with Goodwills and Salvation Armies. Most of it's a no, most of it's a pass, but there's, I'm finding more and more L.L. LL Bean that's that's worth buying and um, and reselling for a good profit. So I got this for $6.99. Let me show you the tag. LL Bean, and they usually have the there. They usually have the ID number. You can put that number in eBay with LL Bean, and it'll pull up all of these, all of this type, this type of item. This was a what a fleece line flannel shirt. I just listed this twenty third, and it's gone. It sold fast for a full asking price. I'm happy about that. So um, I've been I've been looking more and more at LL Bean. There's a, most of it's a no for me, but. Um, when you can find something that's flannel, fleece line, a little bit above normal, um, it's worth comping with that brand probably. Ariad is one of my favorite brands too. It's uh, um, I found a lot of it today, but I had to pass on, I think, five jeans because they had them overpriced. They were selling them for 15 bucks. It was a women's jeans and it was it was a style that did not have the great greatest sell-through rate. If they were $7.99, I would have bought all of them. But at 15 bucks, I, I, I passed on all of them. Um, but I find area at most days. I found I found some shirts. Well, I had a stain on it, so I didn't get that. But it's a it's a daily find for me almost every day. Uh, I don't find a lot of it, but um, sometimes I do. Sometimes you get lucky, and there's four or five of them in a row. Uh, but I sell the M2 jeans and the M4 jeans all the time, usually around the $30 to $40 range. I don't think anything was wrong with these. No, put my, my stupid picture in there again. Um, yeah, so these were in good shape. The the cuffs were a little bit, you know, worn out. I always take a picture of that. I don't consider that to be damaged or a flaw, really. I just I just want the customer to know, hey, they're they're worn out. Some people actually like that. Um, but Ariettes are worth the. I don't even comp these. The M2s are them for. They just look at them. If they don't have too many stains or too many holes, um, or if the holes are not in the crotch or the butt. I'll go ahead and buy them. I bought some of these in really bad shape and still sold them. Polo, Ralph, Lauren, Lorin. Um, I sell these all the time. I find the Varick Slim Straits and the Ham, the Hammond, what is it? The Hammond something. There's another, there's another uh, version of this that I find all the time. This is the uh, 60 or vintage 67. Um, I, so when I when I get these these Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, I always I, I don't know a whole lot about them, but I it's the um, let me go back up here. It's it's the I don't know what you call it. The, I guess the the segment of the the jeans they have a bunch of different jeans, and I pass on most of them. Like Polo Ralph Lauren doesn't mean buy it, but the jeans that I buy almost always have this type of label in the crotch. It's in the crotch of the jeans. You gotta you gotta open up the fly, and it's inside there. And I buy the ones that say the Vintage 67, the Hammond something, Hammond Straight or Ham, Relaxed Hammond. And then um, the Varick Straight. You know what, let me, since this is my long video, let me let me go over here. I will show you. And if you don't like my, when I get sidetracked like this, put a comment below and I'll stop doing it. Uh, but I'm trying to, sh I wanna show you guys um, the, the polo jeans that have been selling. All right, so let's go to aid and ship. I don't want to show you customer information. There's customer information there, so let me. I don't think I can do it any other way. I'll have to. I'll have to figure out how I can do that because I don't want to pull up all my customer names and addresses and stuff. But um, this, I don't buy any polo Ralph Lauren. Um, it's very specific ones. Maybe I should start doing videos of 
brands, specific brands and what I buy. Um, let me know if you're still listening. Let me know what you think about that. Mm -hmm. um, vintage Levi's 550s. The reason why I don't do a bunch of these videos is because there's just tons of them out there. I'm just trying to show you guys what I actually sold, what's physically selling. I'm in Houston, Texas, and maybe you can say, okay, this is information that's very useful every day that I can use to go find stuff. I don't want to just put out information that's just regurgitating what everybody else is doing. All right, vintage Levi's, although this is some kind of regurgitation, I guess. A lot of people do this too, but it's helpful. This is what I, this is how I learned when I was starting. Um, 550s, this is my second pair. So this one, I had this one since December 27th. I took an, I took an offer, which is fine. Um, here's the tags. This is the Made in USA again, which is great. You want to put that in your title. Probably if, if you have vintage Levi's, you probably want to put, if it's USA or Mexico up there. If it's China, you probably don't want to put it in your title. Um, so here's the uh, the 554 on the, uh, the back of the button. There's the 554 right there. So the customer can, that's just another line of verification of, is this real? Um, uh, but they, yeah, it's nothing wrong with no flaws or anything. Just, they're just old. So let's see what I got with my shipping. Um, $29.99. That's a good, I like that. All right, Prana. So this is a brand that I lean on when I'm like really beat and tired and and need a handful of inventory, or maybe I need a lot of inventory. And I'm just I'm just getting to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna start finding stuff that I, I know I can make money on and not lose money on. I don't get to that point often, but um Prana is kind of that brand for me. So these have been listed since March. 31st. I still buy this brand. I still look at them. I still think if I got this today and relisted it with my knowledge now, I could sell it faster and I could sell it for more money. Um, because this was a long time ago, March 23rd, as far as experience goes with eBay for me. Um, let's see. Man, this is back when I took tons and tons of pictures. So there's their their um label, slim fit. That's on the back of the jeans. That's on the back of the jeans right there in the pocket. <clears throat> ah, man, I took pictures of everything. Look at that embroidery. Look at the zipper. Look at the button. Yeah. Um, I don't do pictures like that anymore because I'm listing more and it, it just takes time. Um, I just I do try to give the customer exactly what they want, but I don't want to put a bunch of extra fluff in there. Uh, so those were 40% off. 15 bucks. I still do look at this brand. I think it's, and I still find stuff that is uh, very sellable, has a good sell through rate, and you can make money on. I made money on that, but a little bit, not much. Bubblegum jeans. Um, I just gave these away. I've had these for years. This was one of my listings where I just put it up to 387. And it's like, someone, please just take it. I don't have measurements in the pics or anything. Uh, I got an offer for $2.50 yesterday, and I just took it. I was like, fine, take them. So I don't know anything about this brand. I see it all the time. I think it's just a cheap brand that's not worth anything. Um, I've never comped it. I don't know if anything ever sells for over $30 for this brand. Um, if you know about it, let me know. And uh, I think that concludes everything. Yeah, so it's all 17, 17 items, uh, 646 bucks in sales yesterday. A good day. All right, I'll do this again tomorrow for you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.